Welcome to another episode of Tea Time and another week on Tea Time. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. And of course, right here, we we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and analyze them. I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Ulu Oshunke and Ife Omai. What How's up? It going? What's Good. Going? Yeah, weekend. Good. Awesome. And did you, you get to, to. Any shenanigans? Mm. Is that what you want to ask? Mm -hmm. Without you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, this breaks my heart to announce, but uh, Erica, I mean, we all know she has been disqualified. Yeah. And Lucy left the house with the bank. <laughs> she was evicted. So, okay, so Erica was disqualified. Lucy was evicted. So, yeah, mm. basically. I'm sad about it. How do you feel it. about it? Very sad about it. I know she deserved it anyway. She did. But I but feel like sad still. I wanted her to go a lot further in the house. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was really low. It, what she did was really low. What wasn't that? I'm never taking that drink. I'm not calling them of the brand anyway. I'm <laughs> never taking that drink. It's called ever. dry gin for a reason. Again, it's I mean, called I've never dry taken it before. Anyway, for like, a I'm reason. never going to try it. But it's called dry gin for a reason. Hmm. Is the dry gin is just the English version of Ogugo. But does that mean you not act like a village girl? Was she the only one who took it? No, you know what? I think um, in Erica's case, yeah, it's emotions that have been building up Pens and up bottling. And, uh, She's been bottling a lot of things inside, and that's what they keep telling us about keeping things inside. So sometimes mm. it's okay. People look at people that are very outspoken when they're hurt as being overreactive, but sometimes that's just what is good for your mental health. It's just better to get it out at that point mm. and just pour it all away I mean, and know that it's one over week with. You Do you understand? Like that's something I was that. I'm surprised that that was what's the cause of. Because when I saw that there was something going on, I wasn't watching. Yeah, so I went through social mm. media to check, and I saw it was about kissing and no kissing. I'm like. Since seven days ago, mm. how is that the conversation? And then she's, as, as I as I lay on, she's also had several reservations about several housemates that mm. she's had to smile with. And it was because of Lekon, because yeah. of Lekon's going around and telling people, and they didn't bother to tell her. So I understand the fact that she's. She felt betrayed by the people she felt she was close to. Mm. She felt betrayed by the person she felt she was attracted to. Mm. Even though it wasn't a physical attraction. Yeah, like my guy. Yeah, yeah. like my guy. Like this was somebody that she expected to look <laughs> at. Picture. And yeah, and um, <laughs> when you look at it, there is no excuse for Lacon. Lacon actually did mess up because um, the person it was supposed to have had the conversation with from the start was only one person, which was Erika. He, he didn't owe it to anybody moving around. Well, her reaction ah. to his um, irresponsibility or his uh, his own action is her own business now. That's why the saying. That's why the saying. Now, I don't really like that idea that if something happens and you pepper me, I must talk to you about it. I'll talk to whoever I want to talk to about it. I feel like. It's well, just, not it's when just, you now go and start painting something that is not absolutely the true picture. So that's what you have to be is. very honest. Lekon in his mind really felt that this people wanted to kiss him. Did you watch his diary session yesterday? No, I didn't. He said it. He was like, oh, it was just one. The second one, they almost that it was both of them. It almost happened. Like he mm -hmm. changed his words. See, somebody that likes Irish, I mean, I've been a mumu for someone for liking someone, so I, to be honest with you, I'm not expecting any, like, rational decisions. I actually thought, moving away from Lekon, I actually thought that it was um, transferred aggression. So, on yesterday, that was the mm. conversation that it was Kid because and Kid and Nengi. But then this morning, um, Kid, no, yesterday morning, when did it happen? Okay, no, actually, it's whatever morning, sure. Um, when they were doing their workouts, Kid was saying that, um, Erica said to Lekon on the dance floor that I hate you. Mm -hmm. So, she's actually been feeling... Um, pa um, uh, some aggression towards Lekon on the stage before and even after Nengi. So I feel like that theory might might not actually be very true. That it was mm. passive aggression. Either ways, it was really. I, I feel like I feel like um, uh, people's attitudes, even with alcohol, is not enough reason. Also, really liked her apology. For me, it started to get really worse when. Um, Big Brother asked Prince to go back to that house, um, to the uh, HRH house, and you must sleep there. And then she lay down on the floor, opened her leg, and, and then said, the water on his No, side she already poured the water. The guy now came back. She now lay down on the floor and was out, like, this is how I imagine, you know like, what? people have never, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, markets, markets people to be, fine. not Erica that has, you know, you have a career, you have been out, you know how to, like, she's been behaving herself for the most part. You know, so well, that for me was really, really low. But for me, I think from all this drama, what, what, we need to pick our different lessons anyway. And 
for me to I, i've not been following it back to back more just it's not the way i was following like three weeks ago and thereabouts yeah yeah same. but i feel like when you want to cut people off or maybe someone has hurt you and you feel like this person has done something i cannot really be mm. you don't need to start trying to be friends with that person to please people or to make the people feel good so she actually you know, tried a lot of times to, to keep up that friendship with Lekon. Even when whatever happened in the house happened, she still went back to him. They still had the conversation. Remember when she won head of house and she was supposed to choose? She already knew she was going to choose kid. This is why they say, avoid the urge to Shalaye. Why did you go to Lekon to start having a conversation with him? I would have chosen you. Or you say you wanted space and blah, blah, blah. There are some things you just do and mind your business. But anyway, this is going back to the past as far as I'm what, concerned. What were you guys' What's, thoughts on Prince where she kept on vexing that Prince didn't um, give her yeah, so I, I want your thoughts what on kind that. Of like, what? She want? Thank she you. Wants. If she you're wanted, friends with she someone, wanted, she wanted Prince to fight a battle. She had a mental breakdown, really, and um, yes, and um, I think Huthi, Uti was the one who made the statement that um, that he, he, that in as much as disqualification is bad, but I think it's better for her mental health because mm. if she had stayed in the house, the the emotions that would have flowed, the the, what's it called now? The and I hear she asked for a psychologist yeah, at, before, during this, yeah. at the second week or something. She doesn't do very well with um, a rejection. And mm. it's a problem. Like, you have to be able to stand on your own, which is why she was freaking out so much. You should be able to stand on your own and be okay with the fact that your friend can't stand with you every time, especially if you're wrong. Like, it's okay for you, a friend, to tell you, no, or babes, I'm not with you on this one. She can't handle any of that type of stuff. One week, and Eggie said, I don't want to be close to you. My baby was crying, talking about it for, for hours and hours and hours and hours. So, yeah, she needs... She but, needs I wish I had the very sense. best, really. Yeah, she'll do well. Well, let's she, talk about... Um, what's will, her name now? Lucy. Lucy. Before we move on. Do you know what? I think... I'm um, happy for Lucy. Um, How she... Be, uh, no, she needs to go. She, I'm glad she's gone. <laughs> Stop, uh, people, uh, somebody. Yeah, people, yeah. someone that wanted to win money. She wasn't... No, was she wasn't happy there. What kind of money is that? She wasn't happy there. And I wasn't really feeling the whole escapade between her and Dorothy and Prince. I mean, yeah, her attitude is stinking from next door but you're a grown woman i don't think anyone really has the right to be talking at you down at you like that it, it, she had seen she had um lost respect for all the housemates so much that i still i feel like the c finish was now getting you know a bit I too think, much i think i think lucy's problem was getting judgmental the fact that you felt you were the one seeing because after i chat to table yeah. car, she was like she felt she was the one seeing things other house me to but what about seen. you what did you see yourself as well let's ask her. did you understand like you <laughs> thought you were seeing <laughs> yeah <laughs> even like you were seeing things other people were not seeing you, you felt dry, yeah, dry. people yeah. change when they became head of house you felt people of course there's, there's a role certain, required for each of the head of house you yeah there, there is a certain attitude you have to put up as a leader of it course. is inevitable do you understand you can't be all jolly jolly and you expect people to respect you respect is not is not no, well, you'll be chatting with her soon yeah so mm -hmm. on our behalf <laughs> so basically what i what i really like the way she went out with the band I, I like do. that should i tell you why, why? because at the end of the day, it's a game. You know, I'm always saying it every time I'm watching every eviction show. Like, like, I, I can't cry. believe it. Oh, what is going on? What's happening That's here? So like, it's a game. I want to be the winner. Of course, I'm happy you're getting evicted. Mm. That's mm -hmm. the truth about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's what we're And if I was in that house, I wouldn't mind you nominating my best friend. Because in the household. Yeah. Because the plan is one person wins this money. Yeah. We are not going to share so, the money. At so at the end of the day, even I saw Ozo, whether he was proposing to mm. Nengi or was he doing, I want to win the money. Guess what? But I'm like, what is your, your sister is outside campaigning on your behalf. <laughs> you are here looking for Guess wife. What? I don't if, get it. If I was in the house, yeah, and then they were evicting somebody and I felt like, okay, maybe it wasn't the time for you to live. I'll be like, oh, I didn't see you living now, but I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. It's not like I don't see you living at all. Yes, please go, by all means. I want to be the last person standing. Mm -hmm. So all those things, you know, I can't believe it. It's when, 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 they vote, when you vote them and they now do, when I say, oh, this person, the mother like, oh. Oh. I'm like, 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 you were in there one second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure this person's name. No. <laughs> you mad. It's time to go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we promise we have so much more to discuss.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is Dilty Time on Plus TV Africa. Now, following the letter sent to the managing director of Iroko TV demanding implementation of 5% levy on all audio and visual content on all physical and digital platforms, Somolu um, suspends Lagos State's film and video censors board's executive secretary, Bamdeli Balogun. In a statement shared on Twitter by the SA to Governor Somolu on new media, he said, and I quote, the government hereby dissociates itself from the said announcement in the media. The executive executive secretary who was not authorized to make such an announcement has been suspended pending an administrative inquiry. Good. Um, Very good. I think this is um, where we were beginning to see structure in our political system where some people feel like because I'm in a certain position I don't have to follow protocol. I can go behind certain people's back, make um, certain decisions without getting proper approval. I think there's a classic case of that where this guy felt the need that because he was in a, in a certain position he could make certain laws without referring to the Lagos state government or getting their approval. So I like the fact that there was a firm action taken against them because that's the only way we can move forward. Let yeah. people know that there are consequences. Yeah. I like you, men your like you mentioned structure because okay. for me, the right. a dissemination of information for me in this story was what wowed me. The mm. fact that it was able to circulate like that because mm. it happened a long time ago and there was really no response from mm. um, the, 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 go government. the government at first until, you know, it became more personal with Njoku and then... Which is where I was going to because... This announcement, I think it was about three weeks ago, yeah. where we first talked about it on the show. We even had guests to break it down on the news and all, like talking about how the, the said 5% levy or the call it levy now, the tax thing is actually, some say it's double taxing mm. and it's actually vague. On mm. what content are you going to um, put this levy on? Are you going to say, well, after I have produced it and made money, then from the um, profit, I give you 5%. Mm. Or are you saying it is the money when I'm budgeting money to produce the you movie i'm budgeting five percent of whatever like it was really vague and there were so many questions and their pr came out to say oh they would speak with stakeholders to ensure and see how it is done and blah 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 until this letter was um, um shared on social media by jason joko and my question is if jason did not share this letter would it have? would they have stood up to do what they're supposed to do and if it did come from a jason because trust me when it came out it trended most stakeholders came on social media to talk about it and like why are they doing this to content creators and that no response came at that time until this letter was released by him and then suddenly of course there was another uproar and suddenly you are seeing it and you are you are suspended so yes it feels good to feel heard but i feel like this feeling heard has question mark as far as i'm concerned okay so for the question mark i think the only way i can relate to it is um the fact that it's not everything that you expect the Lagos State That's what I was going to say. If, I'm not, if I cannot prove that they were not, they were actually aware of it, then I can't really say, I can't really criticize it. But if this I saw that they had, um, you know, interacted with the information mm. at some point and refused to um, respond, then maybe. So I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell whether or not they're just responding because it's no joke or it's because they genuinely just saw yeah. the letter when and it maybe came they, out. And I, I really maybe they know. expected the body that was in charge, charge of, of answering to that to have fixed, fixed it. it. And the person or the people didn't like the peer. Maybe they were all in on it and they were making personal decisions yeah. for their it's personal gain. It's also quite worrying that a lot of, that a lot of people actually, can yeah. make such massive decisions 
on such a scale that hasn't been approved of, do I need to then go back to all the people that have ever ta taxed me <laughs> to find out if Lagos actually legit asked them to, that's, that's to a do very, that? That's, that's, that's a very valid yeah, point. It's that's kind a of very, crazy. Very valid you put point. it out. These people did not hide it. They didn't like whisper it in their ears. They made Them, speeches. Was, and they even public. used the Lagos State yes. letterhead. Like, to understand to this out. It's fine. I'm, I'm glad that this is happening now, and I hope that this gives them an opportunity to go back to the drawing board and um, decide and even investigate if, some other know, policies. Decide that are if they really want um, this policy and if they want it. How do they want to implement it? Because one of the reasons they gave us then was that it um, this tax is going to help them invest back into the industry well, the and help with piracy. Um, whatever I mean, they mentioned everything that we would say yes is our problem. They the tax that we have now. Let them start with that. What have they done? with that we don't even have one distribution um, um company from lagos states one single one hmm. mm. that's what i was finding out today that's when i had, I had this conversation Nisuru. oh Nisuru. Tea time continues right after this break and this <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleep in early. Rihanna sparked concerns over the weekend as she was seen with um, bruises on her face, but her reps um, have explained. They're saying that, um, quote, Rihanna is completely fine now, but flipped over on an electric scooter last week and bruised her forehead and face. Luckily, there were no major injuries and she's healing quickly, end of quote. Mm. Okay. Film, so, Why are you yeah. smiling like okay, that? Okay, yeah. I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it gave me flashbacks. Do yeah. To, um, do to create it did it did because the face sorry the face injury the yeah it was too much every time i see a woman with a swollen mm -hmm. eyes eyes oh it is hard for me to believe it's only sacred our sacred forehead imagine five head gang rihanna i feel like it's hard for me to believe Anytime there is an eye oh, injury, man. it is always hard for me but to But how did she scoot on electric scooter? Oh, and follow your eye like this. And, and follow, follow your head, follow your eye. Like, Come it on. looked very... I was hoping you guys wouldn't do this, though. I have to. I you know, we're just concerned. I like the fact that you went to the flashback of Chris Brown and Rihanna, and I think she's the type of person that if she's abused, she has proven to us that she'll come out and be vocal about it. Mm -hmm. right? It's not always like that, though, if you uh, Yeah, it's not always Every like abuse that. Has but its that's why I would. Yeah, that's hmm. why. By Elsie Godwin. That, that, that's why I would say that um, she would have probably said something. You think so? Yeah, that's why I don't she think she did a terrible generalize. job um, with the handling of Chris Brown's case. From what I remember, there was so much backlash when she went back to Chris Brown. And people were on about it and that she's not giving good, good uh, what's it called? Example. Example. And I think they are not even back together because of what people will say. Exactly. Not because she doesn't like attacking. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, so. they, she forgave him and went back. So she's not, I don't think she's the kind of person that makes decision based on like public uh, influence and what's role model vibes. I feel like she'll do what she needs to do. But I also um, want us to remember that these people are human and they are prone to accidents like everyone mm. of us. So do you fall on your eye? Have you ever fallen on your Exactly. Do you ride electric scooters? The thing about Let me tell you electric scooters. You can fall we, forward. See, you have one leg on the ground mm -hmm. and you have another leg on there. Mm. The fall cannot be direct on what one if it's eye. a bump and then you hit a door and you won't have any wall. scratches you won't she have any other have thing bruises. If you she remember, has bruises here and this place is swollen and this place is bruised like okay, the side okay. of her face um, is also bruised i, I mean i'm not saying that they somebody hit her but that's, that, that's, that's what i want fine. To. she's completely 
fine. First of all, why would they say she's completely fine? She has a swollen face. She's she's obviously not completely fine. No, her skin will heal. So she's completely fine. Um, We wish Rihanna the best. We don't want to hear later that it is... um, domestic whatever i hope, which I want to hope. It's so, just something else right? um we're just worried and like every other fan out there so yeah good luck yeah yeah moving on to the next story the united nations has issued a public disclaimer on the dr kwame owusu un's fake award saga in a statement published on sunday it was categorically stated that the united nations neither in ghana or anywhere else has any affiliation with the blueprints um global challenge awards nor with organization blueprint mission or its personnel in any way shape or form they went on to advise the general public to assess um, to access genuine information by visiting the relevant un agencies websites or the un ghana websites hmm. i feel like this is the time now to i can i can categorically say my bias against these people is not just a bias so when i read, um, saw the story I went and, and dog I already had in, the impression that these mm. people are, I don't know the word to call it now, I don't know if they're white, I don't say racist, but I know that there is disparities between how they treat minorities and how they treat white people, and it is very true. The Ghana, <laughs> the Ghana website has not been updated in years. It looks like something that mm. a upcoming IT student made in comparison to the other websites. One, even when you're talking about the websites and the, their fate in Africa, it is very impossible to have any international backings with you and... <clears throat> All their programs for abroad, Nigeria is not on there. A lot of African countries are not on there. So I think it's only SA and Kenya or something, like two other countries. For people who claim to be really working and focusing on Africa, because that's where the need is, and that's what the establishment was for, there's a lot of disparities into it. The Black Lives Matter thing, I made my research. They were, they were not allowed to participate, and these are black staffs working abroad in the UN community. Mm. So I think it's fair to say for me that these people don't actually have our good, in, our good interests at heart, and they are focused on the people that are, um, what's it called? um, lucrating their pockets rather than actually like people that matter so this story for me is good that they're coming out to clear it out because yes i have i've complained many times that their that their um information in terms of who they're affiliated with it's kind of um skew skew, but other than that honestly i really don't care about you anymore following up on what you said i Mm -hmm. think um it's also clear that um they tend to take advantage of certain situations and when it's not working in their favor they are quick to come and put out a disclaimer mm. we saw that with the band mm-hmm. when um, for a long time we thought it was a UN ambassador and they let until it go. the rape and mm. they let it go so it's like they just as long as it's working in our favor mm. it's fine it's mm. you guys or so whatever whatever goes yeah. but as soon as it, it tends to tarnish their image a little bit they're quick to jump on the disclaim so fix yourself I think the yeah. problem is from the UN mm. and not all those people because if you're not so easily accessible to be imposed yes. mm-hmm. on, upon then i don't think okay i'm i'm just glad they did the disclaimer and uh, this doctor also or whatever i don't know what is going to happen but sorry yeah and oh yeah but that's how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and please send your opinions via whatsapp to 09065719 or twitter to us at plus tv africa remember you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting and subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa and of course you'll find all our exclusive content on that same platform you can also watch tea time on r2 tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife olu and the mm-hmm. entire production team Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.